Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we are returning to our second episode looking at the new game Gunner Heat PC, which is a new uh, simulation game, a tank sim, or I guess armored warfare simulation, uh, that simulates a hypothetical conflict between the USSR and the United States. I guess actually all the forces we've seen so far are German Democratic Republic uh, forces versus US forces. But in any event, this is a new game that is entering early access on September 6th uh, and is really kind of interesting. It, I think it does a good job of providing a tank sim without making the game too daunting to pick up and play. Like, I, I played the demo for a few hours back when it was in the Steam uh, sort of next sale, uh, or not sale, but, but demo fest or whatever. And then I, I picked up the early access copy uh, from a press key that was sent to me a couple of days ago. And it's really easy to jump into and play. It can be challenging at times, although I think the AI could probably use some improvements or just, I think they need to up their accuracy a bit to be a little more challenging at times. Uh, but even so, like this is not a difficult game to grasp the concepts. It is surprisingly complex while not being overly taxing. And so I think it shows a lot of promise. Uh, the game is entering early access, as I already said, on the 6th of September. Uh, there are things that will be added in future iterations of the game. Air support and artillery, I believe, are uh, sort of on the roadmap. Way down the roadmap is including infantry. Right now they have infantry for like anti-tank missiles, but I think like including regular infantry that aren't maybe a threat to your tank um, are, are, are down the line. And then also way down the line sort of the last step of early access is when they're looking at doing multiplayer so that could be interesting as well now what you're watching here is actually a nighttime fight that i was fighting as the americans in my abrams this is the one piece where i really kind of struggled a little bit with the game it is really hard to navigate at night i felt like i got the best view from the gunner seat but that probably isn't the right way like because i couldn't see roads i couldn't really see where i was going but it was my best chance to see enemy tanks um, I end up switching over to the commander view, which is a much narrower focus, uh, but uh, from like a visual perspective, at least it felt like I was looking through a straw, uh, but gave me a better sense of my surroundings. So maybe I should have been doing that the whole time. In any event, this is taken from the campaign version of the game, which is currently available or will be available with the early access. It is a dynamic campaign, but it's a little bit open as well. It's a little bit bare bones. I believe they're gonna flesh it out more further throughout uh, the game's development. That's enough of me talking. That's three minutes of me rambling. Why don't we go ahead and jump right into this? Again, taken from a live stream. If you're interested in joining these in the future, link in the description of my Twitch channel. And without further ado, let's get going around this corner. Speaking of which, where's the rest of my tank platoon? Oh, the Bradleys are moving too. All right, we can see the road now. Oh, whoops. What are my options here? Night optics. I've got thermals. Yeah, it doesn't give me a night option. I've just got the T for thermals. Maybe it's not in yet. I don't know. Trying to go up this hill before we do. We're getting pretty close. So the objective, I would expect to start running into resistance very soon here. What the fuck? Tank! On the way! Got him. 
pretty sure he's dead, but I'll re-engage as requested. How do you know? Well, oh, never mind. He's cooking off. You can see the, or we could see the flame. So we got one tank. What's over here? Someone's shooting at somebody. I can't see anything. There he is. Got him. There goes the turret. Woo! Oh, that one had the turret blown off too. I don't know who he was shooting at, if it was the Bradleys or what. We'll have to see what we lost. Where am I shooting? I don't see... Hey game, if you're going to give me a call out that there's a guy and that I should be on, like, I can't see what I'm shooting at. Oh, here we go. E for range. Mouse click for hit. Re-engage. Got it. Crushed by impacting. God damn it. APC is taking too many fucking hits. I need a better angle. I don't quite understand what the impact angle's got to do with it, but. Oh. Low. Almost out of ready heat. There we go. Low. Okay, well, that's it. That was our fun little escapade in nighttime driving. Despite the weird temporary glitch. Can you give me a, a daytime view for the replay? <laughs> it's like, oh, it's a black shadow. Um, all right. So T-72, that T-72 got fucked. Yeah. Anyway, the in, it's in, interesting to see the individual results, but not something I think is compelling to look at 50 billion times. Does space slew the gun onto target? I believe it does. No sub. Coffee filter. Great name. It is a great name. How you doing coffee? All right. We destroyed five enemy vehicles without loss. And again, you can see here, we are doing very well in the campaign. Uh, recon enforce, assault strategic location, defend area. D does it tell me if it's a nighttime battle? Uh, defend area, defend strategic location. Also, it does seem like on the northern end of the map, we're pushing, pushing them off to the right, maybe? I'm not sure. Let's assault another strategic location here. They fortified a key tactical position in our area. Doesn't tell me if it's going to be a nighttime or daytime battle. We are going to be driving some M60s this time around. And we've got two platoons of Bradleys and one of M60s. Thanks for the res or the sub there, Mac. Appreciate the support. Very appreciated. All right. Let's go ahead and check this battle out. Is it still nighttime? And the gift sub. Appreciate that too. I don't understand what I'm seeing. Whoa. Causing a traffic jam. All right, the Bradleys are behind us. 
Oh, that's right. We've got two platoons of fucking Bradleys. Look at all these guys. I didn't see where the Bradleys went, but those are my M60s. Here come the Bradleys. They look so fearsome and menacing. Maybe they're tanks. All right, maybe we should actually like get going. All right, what are we doing here, by the way? Assault route, route control point, rally point up here. All right. Mac, very generous of you. All the gift subs. Do I need to go to the rally point? Like, is that required? Ooh, we could have turned our lights on in that last battle. We could have done the whole, uh... What was that movie again? Oh my god. I can't remember it. Denzel Washington. Gulf War. He blows up his friend's tank. I did a three minute ad the second that the stream started, so I was hoping that would keep the ads off for the majority of... I've got the uh, the auto thing set up for Twitch because they're doing some bonus thing or whatever. But I've only got it set to one minute an hour, so it should keep the ads low. Although, unfortunately, pre-rolls are on if you join now because there's nothing I can do about that. Except run ads, which I haven't since the stream started. Courage under fire, that's what I was thinking. Thanks, no sub. That was a pretty good opening scene in that movie. I think, anyway. Not a tanker. Except for the whole, like, turn your lights on thing seems pretty... Um... Well... And I don't know where I'm going here. I don't really know what the rally point, what significance that has in this game. I'm guessing there's better ways than how I manage actual orders and stuff for units. Because I don't really do anything for the subunits. I just sort of fight the tank. At least that's what I've been doing here tonight. Ah! Poor little trees. They never stood a chance. Yeah, it definitely did, Coffee. I mean, I think you kind of saw it coming a little bit, but yeah, it was... If memory serves. I haven't seen it in a long time. Oh, don't go off the edge of this hill. Oh, screw it. Where am I going anyway? Whoop. I don't even know where my buddies are. Oh, they're down the road. Where are the Bradleys? Oh, they're way out ahead of me. Well, shit, they're going to get their fucking place. They're going to get there way faster than me. Here's an idea. Let's just be the Bradley lead and let the M60s catch up. I'm sure the AI is better than me at that. We can always fight with our uh, tow missiles. Yeah, I think Pentagon Wars is a, it's a fun movie. Um, but based on what little info I have, it really probably is unfair to the Bradley uh, acquisition process. It's trying to make a point about how the military acquisition process can be a fucking dumpster fire, which is 100% true. But the way that it tells the story about the Bradley, like they knew what they were trying to do in the first place. Um... And I mean, the concept of the IFV was what the Bradley ended up becoming. I mean, it was what they wanted it to be in the end. So, like this idea that they were trying to do all... Oh, shit. Speak to me. Oh, God. We did. Oh, no.
Go on, little buddies. Go on. Oh, we lost two. That guy's dying. Go toe, go toe, get it. Got him. Oh, he's still alive? Oh shit, the tank on the left is shooting at us. Uh, you saw that one landed right in front of us. Hit him. Boom, there goes the turret. Reload the damn toe. Oh, there's another one from one of our buddies. Got him. Whew. Well, I don't even think our tanks ever got into the fight, but it looks like we won. Show Pentagon Wars that. Commander killed here. Right track destroyed, so we lost two of those guys are in flames. This one's damaged. That was pretty fucking cool. The acquisition part is accurate but not specific again based on my understanding not specifically for how the bradley's evolution like they knew about the bmt they were trying to uh they were trying to counter the bmp or have an equivalent which did all the missions that they laid out there but largely from that uh from the initial design that was always the intent all right so T-72 knocked out this Bradley and this Bradley. This guy took damage but didn't die. That T-72 got rocked. Rocked. Was it just one platoon of enemy T-72s? All right, so we lost two vehicles and three crew members. They lost four vehicles and nine crew. And again, we still have not lost any of our strength up here along the top. So uh, definitely evidence that equipment losses don't matter. It's just a standard reduction in strength based on or victory meter or health meter based on results. All right, at this point in the stream, I actually jumped out to play a mission from the Soviet perspective. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, jump ahead a little bit in the stream to where we pick things up in the campaign again. Intermission here. And let's let's do another recon on force. That's a fun mission um, when you're kind of out ahead of it. It looks like M60s, M2s, and M113s. Last time we did this, we only got to command Bradleys, though. Enemy forces consisting of T-72s and BMPs. And we've got to advance and fight through their screen, get to their main line of resistance, and fall back to the position. At least that's what we had to do before. So we are a Bradley platoon leader, and it looks like it's just our Bradley platoon, as far as I can tell. Follow me! All right, three waypoints. What's the mech station section? And then the limited advance. I'm tempted. I'm guessing the enemy's not going to have more than 12 vehicles. I'm tempted to just use my toes against whatever we run into. Regiments SEO. I played regiments a little bit right before it came out. Um, it seemed interesting. It seemed like a much smaller scale war game style game. So like 
What I mean by that is the units that you have on your map seemed like you didn't get as many. Um, the OOB seemed pretty restrictive, but it did seem interesting. I think the operations mode of the game, oh shit, is really interesting. No one gonna give me a call out on what the hell we're shooting at? Thermals. Anything? Oh no! I saw it coming just in time to die. Trying to reverse out of here. There is another fucking missile, isn't it? Fucking A. We're just all dying. Do we have a second platoon back here? Well, we died fast. I don't know how to drive and fight at the same time. I'm bad at that. Is there, by the way, Wolf, maybe you know, is there a way you can, like, have your crew still drive? Because I feel like I've got to use the WASD keys to drive while I'm trying to fight the damn thing. I'm assuming there's, like, a command to just move forward or, like, give the driver some autonomy? Well, this might be our first mission that we lose. Hey! Good morning. It's it's just about midnight my time, Mag, but good to see you. Hope hope everything's going great at uh, the event. We're just busy dying over here. I don't have any, like, natural cover or ridges to kind of hide behind at all. Another sub mech. You were very generous. I feel like if it's popping up and telling me to use the gun sight to set the range, then there's got to be a target around here, but I don't see anything. Someone is definitely shooting at someone. That's cool. Well, that sounds like a fun experience. Maybe some year I'll, uh, I'll get the chance to go. <laughs> Jeez, Mac, you're just, you're going off. Just like these Soviets against me. I guess they're technically Germans. The goddamn smoke from our dead tank or dead uh, Bradleys is, is a bit of a pain in the ass right now. It's kind of obscuring parts of the field. So here's the question. Where did we get hit from? I don't even remember. I thought it was in the town. But I don't see any hot indications in the town. Oh shit, they're on the left. It's like, I know there's another town. Oh god. Uh... Bruce left. Oh, it wants me to attack this guy? Toe, get him. Dead. Is this guy already dead? What's that? Is that a soldier? All 
Alright, that's a vehicle of some kind. I think he's dead. He stopped shooting at least. I didn't see if anyone destroyed this guy. I don't... The laser thing doesn't seem to work on the auto cannon. The laser rangefinder. Tell me to set the range, but I tried and it doesn't work. You know what? Screw it. I'm, I'm guessing he's dead, but let's be sure. Oh, great. He blows up after I fire the damn thing. Or was that it hitting? Either way, I'm pretty sure he's dead. All right, let's advance. I mean, I would love to get to Sweden regardless of whether it was for Paradox, but yeah, that would be cool. All right, let's uh, get up here. Bradleys are just fun to drive. They're so goddamn fast. We're going to crest this ridge up near this town. Hopefully I didn't miss anyone hiding behind any buildings. That is a very real possibility. Bradley, just cruising along. External view is kind of cool. Wouldn't shock me if there's like an anti-tank gun crew around here somewhere. They gave us two platoons of Bradleys for a reason. I'm guessing that has to do with the strength of the enemy resistance. Which our crews got zapped right away. I was complaining on how easy it was and then we just died like freaking chumps. killed this guy, right? I think it's shooting right through him. Well, he's dead now. Make sure BMPs. What the fuck? Talk to me. Oh, we're out. 
we're pulling ammo out of storage bins. Commander killed. Well, fuck. I hear shooting, but I don't see anything, so let's move. got to be obstructed by this bush. He sees us. I see tracers. I think our other guy got him. I think he's down here. Yep. <laughs> I think we're just eviscerating his dead body. Hit gunner's torso. All right. Well, we got that anti tank. Parking basement gunny. Ouch. We're on the move. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's go find us some Soviets. Shove it up their commie asses, sir. So again, reports enemy armor. See, you know what'd be cool is if the enemy armor actually did counterattack you and was like racing at you. Thanks for the gift sub mech. All right, game wants me to turn around. Hopefully, we don't lose our other uh, Bradley on the way back like we did last time. So far, SEO, the game does have a roadmap for air support, or I guess... Where? Where? This thing? Yeah, so they definitely have a fire support. I think that's like version two of early access that they're targeting. And the screenshot they showed from it did show aircraft. So that would be cool. One of the other further versions of the game that they're working on, I believe also will include um, infantry beyond just like the, the locked in position anti-tank gun crews, um, which could be neat from like an immersion factor. I guess to me, obviously the biggest threats are gonna be the ATGMs. But still, I think it's a cool, cool thing to be trying to include. Um, I don't remember all the different, all the different things. I think there are going to be campaign enhancements and other things like that. All right, let's get back. We're on the move. I'm 
There's our little buddy back there. Following his loyal commander. Good thing we weren't in the first group, huh? Man, they got toasted. That fancy thing in the metal arm is an anti-aircraft sight? Really? If it's like Wolf, can we... Uh, maybe we can shoot our uh, main gun against uh, some enemy... Enemy Stukas coming down. Will there be different weather implemented in the game? I don't know, Oxlorn. I don't know off the top of my head. I'd have to look. Probably... I don't... Is the roadmap on the Steam page? It might be. All right. We just got to get back so we can fight another mission here. So we got to get back to the fallback position because we are recons, so they don't want us to blast through the enemy positions. There's our former dead crews, or former teammates. Look like they stopped burning. Man, recon would be such a fucking deadly job. I got to imagine the uh, estimated loss in the recon units on either side in the um, in an actual World War III would just be horrific. Or any modern conflict, for that matter. We're drifting! Mission accomplished! End mission. I don't need to look at all the killed. Let's see what the results were, how many vehicles and whatnot. So we lost two vehicles and five crew members. They lost seven vehicles and 12 crew members. We are still undefeated, and they are nearing defeat in the campaign. So we've got defend position options, assault strategic locations, and defend position. I think we're going to do a defend position here. M1s and M2s versus tank, IFV, scout. Okay. Mac, you're just... Thank you, dude. Uh, yeah, I mean... Some military jobs worse than others, presumably. Elder. Friendly POS down here. Contact report straight ahead. All right, crew. Follow. Someone's shooting at someone already. I'm guessing we've got Bradleys up there on the main line of resistance. Oh, they're shooting at our M113. Bastards! Yeah, I can't see. I can't move my toes, so I can't. God, that's so fucking cool. Reverse right. Where does it want me to traverse? I don't see anything. Looks like we destroyed him. Someone else killed him. I don't know. 
I'm just using the space bar key. Jesus. Some of these battles are intense as fuck, but like if you're not on point, your AI does all the work. <laughs> so we destroyed a bunch of stuff, but I was like not involved. Our toe got this T72 or T they were T55s. Okay. Okay. Got it. I think it might be more fun to play as the Soviets, honestly. These these Americans, all their technologies just it's too it makes things too easy. T <laughs> there goes the crew. <laughs> we thanks again, Mech. So our M one thirteen got lit up. Poor crew. I think our tow launcher survived. I didn't see anything saying it was killed. Oh my God. Look at all this. Whoa. All right. So we got BMPs also. Must be a horrible death. Might be fast. Should be a tar uh, an achievement for firing. You know what I mean? Like while the tank's jumping over a ridge or something. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. All right, we lost we lost four vehicles, surprisingly. Must have all been M113s. The enemy lost 10 and 32 crew. So they're down to their last mission. I think we'll win the campaign tonight. So let's do another assault strategic position. We get to drive M60s. We also have apparently toes. Guarding the right flank. Enemy armor is expected to attack. Wait, didn't it say that was an offensive? Oh, that was defend? Enemy forces have fortified a key tactical. Okay, so we'll be an M1. Anti-tank missiles, BMPs, and T-72s. <laughs> nice, Otto. At least. All right. They might already have follow orders, but... Assault landmark. We're back here. Screw the rally point. We're just going. Turn in toward the target, boys. Let's get down there ASAP. Yeah, the crew probably weren't in their seats anymore. That's probably just the way the game handles it. They're probably always in the same sitting spot in the, in the tank. Is the enemy the DDR? It seems like all the time we've been fighting them, they've been the DDR, yeah. I don't know if that's intended to change or whatnot with later versions of the game. There they go. We're in a line. Not line abreast. Line ahead. Okay, they need to add run overable trees. That tree would be dead. <laughs> what were we moving? Like 40 miles an hour and we just hit the tree with a 70 ton tank head on? I don't think the tank will live through that or the tree will live through that. That's one stout tree. Yeah, you can say that again. Okay. I'm going to have to cut across this forest, probably. They make those trees sturdy in Germany. All right, we're going to do something I would not want to do as a tanker. We're going to go down this road, through this wood. Trees on either side, no infantry support, no Bradley support. Through a narrow roadway cut through this wood. 
I'm just gambling there's no enemy troops in here. I mean, if there's enemy troops in here, this would definitely be a graveyard. God, I love this terrain. I would hate it as an attacker, but it's so fucking sweet. It's just the hills and the open, the absurdly long line of sight. I'm curious if they don't give you the gunner tank call when you're in the commander seat. Oh, shit. APC. Lazed. Firing. Hit. Hit the viewport. We didn't destroy it, I guess. Oh, no! Those are anti-tank missiles! Back up. Back up. There's a tank. Uh, there's an anti-tank crew, I think, to the left. Ah! Oh. Oh, that's coming out of that. Oh fuck. That is like the creepiest thing ever. Driver and loader, the driver killed, loader wounded. Well, we still got our, our commander and our loader, our gunner. Engine damage, 62%. Driver killed, loader heavily wounded. Oh, I thought he was dead. Loader, do your goddamn job. Reload faster. There goes one of our friendlies. We have two M1 platoons? Yeah, but you should still dodge more than I do. You should like pop into a firing position to fire, pull back and reposition. But that was fucking cool to watch those missiles come straight at you. Why am I running? Someone's still shooting at someone. I don't know where the Bradleys are. Turn around, you fuckers. This is back where the commander was. You guys running away from him? Cowards. Are there smoke grenades to cover your position? I don't know if you can drop smoke. I don't know if they're still shooting at that crippled tank of ours or if something else is going on. Sounds like Bradleys are engaged. I think I hear chain guns. Or not chain guns, but their auto cannon or whatever the hell you call that 25 mil. Oh, we're struggling up this hill. Saw a tracer.
Multiple vehicles burning. What are they? T-72s, by the looks of it. I think. I can't really see. I don't have a good sight. Directly ahead. Did our friendly already kill the damn thing? Pretty sure what was already cooking off. Thing's dead as fuck. I think that was what we spotted, though. The Soviet air tanks did not have infrared capabilities. Smoke them if you got them, then U.S. tanks can spot with infrared. Well, I don't have smoke as far as I can tell in the game so far. Yeah, the Soviets suck it. At least in the demo, it was very difficult to fight at night with the Soviets. They had the dinky-ass night sight that was terrible. It was like, you just see flashes on the horizon from the enemy tanks approaching, and you kind of had to try and hone in on that, or you just died. All right, we're assaulting this position. That's stream elements. Chat really wants you to know about shit. Got to adjust that. A little bit spammy. Did you know THG has a Discord? Did you know THG has merch? I didn't know. Stop by air intake. Die. Okay. The, M the MG would have more purpose if you ran into enemy tanks more often. Shit. Is that what I think it is? That's an anti tank gun crew mount for a AT or whatever it is. Obviously, the crew's already been killed. There's gotta be at least one or two more enemy tanks left. Maybe around this ridge? be like right on top of anything we spot. That's the night vision site, obviously. So it's like the gunner view has the thermal and the night vision site is for the commander. It seems... 
we in the assault point yet? Like, I'm surprised the mission hasn't ended. Maybe it's like an anti-tank gun crew or something somewhere. Not in gun, but NATO forces have breached the objective. Well, my AI friend got to him before I could. Why not add to their misery? Point blank. All right. Oh, well, they're already dead. Victory. And another gift sub. Thank you very much. You probably do SEO numbers only count for so much as uh, the Middle Eastern wars with the uh, Gulf, not Gulf, but the Middle East states versus Israel probably showed 40 shots, huh? That last one is a BMP. We got a bunch of T-72s. There were at least three up on that ridge line that we went past. We did lose at least one Bradley. That's the same one. Two Bradleys by the looks of it. Maybe three. I guess we'll find out when we get the main menu. First generation M1. Yeah, Brown. Okay, so four allied units were lost. Four allied vehicles with nine crew members. Six enemy vehicles were lost with 13 crew members. It felt like more than that. Campaign finished. We won the campaign. Yay. We didn't lose a single mission. I wonder if the Soviets would be more difficult. I suspect they would be. The Abrams is a, is a tough nut. And with that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this episode up here. We won the Soviet campaign in just a couple of episodes. Uh, let me know your thoughts, guys. Is this something you're interested in? Are you excited to watch how this game develops? Do you want to see more of this? I certainly could play a campaign from the Soviet perspective. It's a lot of fun, but also kind of bite-sized in terms of uh, the length of some things. Anyway, let me know your guys' thoughts below. Thanks again for watching. And as always, until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying thank you for watching, and I'm out.